I'm Makoto Tsubokura, a team leader of Complex Phenomena Unified Simulation at the Center for Computational Science, Wigan, and also a professor at Kobe University. We are conducting a viral droplet and aerosol dispersion simulations at various situations on the world's fastest supercomputer, Fugaku. We are trying to propose a countermeasure to reduce the infection risk of COVID-19. There are two benefits of using Fugaku. One is capacity computing. The other is a capability computing. Fugaku is really useful for our simulation. The reason is, uh, of course, it is very fast. It is 40 times faster than the previous K computer. Thanks to that, uh, within a couple of months, we can conduct more than 1,000 simulations. If it were on the K computer, it took uh, almost one or two years. For the evaluations of the infection risk, we considered many, many situations. Some of them include public transportation, uh, like the infection risks in the trains, the, the airplanes, the taxis, bus, and so on. And also we considered the infection risks at the public locations, like a hospital room, the classrooms, and also music halls, and so on. Uh, regarding the different types of behavior, we consider the three situations. One is just speaking. Uh, the second one is uh, singing. And the third one is uh, coughing. In the case of speaking, about 10,000 droplets emitted per minute. It is interesting to note. On the other hand, when you sing, in the case, uh, about 25,000 droplets emitted per minute. That is equivalent to the situations when you cough twice. So it means uh, among these three situations, singing is, is a sort of the very uh, dangerous situation. Uh, what we found in the face mask is that the face mask is uh, always not perfect. In the case when you wear a face mask, about 30% of aerosols leaking the, from the gap between the, your face and the mask. So the important thing is that we always consider the two countermeasures for that. One is a face mask to block the larger droplet. And the second one is a ventilation in the room, uh, which is important to reduce the infection risk from the aerosol. The overall conclusions in our simulation is we always have to consider four factors. One is the behavior, like singing or like speaking. And the second one is the distance among each person. The third one is the type that we are talking or what we are discussing among each person. And the last one is the ventilation in the room. Always we have to consider these four factors and we have to take several countermeasures for that. There is no perfect countermeasure to reduce the infection risk by the only one method. Always we have to consider the more than three or four countermeasures for the infection risk. We are now planning new simulations considering not only the droplet or aerosol dispersion, but also we would like to evaluate the risk of infection directly by considering the interactions between the droplets and the human bodies inside.